Ben Hatchett, Let's Be Real TV, sponsored by Terrace Colt. Welcome to Let's Be Real with me, Ben Hatchett. So today's second documentary, I'm actually going to visit an old friend, Chloe Sims, who's now getting into OnlyFans. So I remember her from back in the day, so I'm coming up to catch up with her years later. I know she's just about to start getting into it. I want to go and find out why. I want to know more about it. Right, let's go see. Come. Chloe, good what's morning. happening? Good morning, alright? Good to see you. How have you been? You alright? You good? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Good, good. Come in, come in. Chloe? You alright? It's been a long time, isn't it? It's been so long. So how you been? Um, yeah, I've been good, thank you. Yeah. So listen, I'm glad you reached well, I'm glad we reached out, isn't it? It's been like saying it's been many yeah, years. I know. You look different. Um, yeah. You look a lot different. I know, probably for the last time you've seen me. I'll show you a picture actually. Um this was probably the last time you saw me. Mate, you've done well, huh? what, what, what was you weighing there? Thirteen stone. Thirteen stone. What are you know? Ten stone. Ten stone man. Obviously I'm always seeing Insta, you're always keeping fit, always keeping active and that. Always, time, yeah. always at the gym, always running. Yeah. That's, good, that's, that's the only thing that keeps it off. So one of the reasons, obviously, we're linking up today as well. You're just about to get into OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah OnlyFans. So yeah. obviously, I mean, I was going to be doing a bit of filming and that, but again, we obviously we come from the same place, and I've known you since what, I don't know, like that was about years ago. Yeah, probably about thirteen, fourteen years ago. Probably plus, mate. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I forget how old we are. Like, I know. Now, but uh, <laughs> obviously, you knew me in the wild days. Yeah. But um, no, so it's, it's, it's good to come back. Cause I know you're just about to get into it, so mm. I'm intrigued. Obviously, this. So I've come back from ten years. This was never about when I was about. It was yeah. still like MSN and Blackberry. Oh yeah, B you know what I mean? Yeah, like BRB. Yeah, BRB. So, but no, this this um, OnlyFans is is, is booming. It's, big, yeah. it's boom, booming. There's some big money in it. There's a lot of people doing it and that now. So you what is it now? You've literally just got into it. Um yeah, it started a few weeks ago you now. Um. A lot of people have said to me, oh, you should do it, you should do it. And it's something that I've always thought about, but never really had the guts to do. And then one day I just thought, do you know what? I've got nothing to lose. You can only gain from it. Yeah. So set it up. I had got a few pictures and just went rolling from there. Right. So. And today you're going to give me a little close insight of how it actually it works. And that's what I'm intrigued to know, actually. Yes, I am. How it works. I mean, you're going to yeah. see And it's all there. The computer in bit, the pictures, we're gonna yep. see the full works. Yep. Right, let's do this. Let's go. But <laughs> Right, let's go upstairs. This is where the magic happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you literally here in the bedroom? Yep. Yeah, this is where we take all the pictures, take all the videos, do the hair and makeup. So you do have an entourage that helps you, but I do. They're, they're, they're very camera shy. They are. <laughs> One of them does my makeup, one of them holds the light. They're both giving me it's all, well. <laughs> it's all very professional, you know? No, it's good, so... Right, I'm going to get changed. So how are you feeling now then, Chloe? Yeah, I'm feeling good. So this is where the magic happens, is we start getting Yeah, so we start up. getting ready, yep. My friend does my makeup and my hair. Um, and then we get started taking pictures. So how long does it normally take then? So when you do a shot on that, how long do um, you... I think our first one we did um, a couple of hours, but we usually get enough shots um, just to tie us over for a couple of weeks, maybe, because I upload regularly to OnlyFans, so I'll put up two posts a day just to keep people keep people interested. Yeah. Because um, the hard thing is getting people to carry on their subscription. I think people just think it's like a one-off subscription, but it's actually a monthly a monthly thing. So you need people to be interested. You need things constantly changing so yeah you need to keep them so you always got to be creative and where does the creativity come from like the thinking the um, do you can't. know what I've seen I've seen other girls only fans and they take it to different extremes like you make it your own really I wanted to keep it quite um quite classy um some girls go full frontal nudity and they do a lot of like dirty dirty things do you know what I mean um so I don't know if you've ever been on it. No, I haven't. You've never been on it. So you pay your monthly subscription and then it's it looks like a social media account. You've got like a home page. And on my home page I'll put up pictures, um, but I cover them with emojis. So then they have to sort of tip 
and pay a little bit extra to see the uncut versions. Oh, okay, okay. Only because um so it's like drawing them in, so I mean so sort of Yeah, like, yeah, like enticing what it is, them. But if yeah. you want to see the full thing, yeah, then exactly. You I mean some girls don't do that. They just have their full frontal pictures and videos on their home page and you pay a set amount. Mm. Um but that's down to them. But I just thought because Eastbourne's obviously a small town and I've only just started, there will be a lot of people just signing up wanting to be nosy, screenshotting it, sending it around just to have a laugh with their mates. So I think it separates um, the people that are genuinely interested in it rather than the people that are just being nosy. So how does that make you feel then? Obviously being in the town, and all, and that's, that's obviously an interesting fact that you just said. Because <laughs> we can't, I, I'm from Eastbourne, we know each other from yeah. Eastbourne. I know what this town obviously is. Well, do you like. know what? <laughs> I advertised it on my private um, Instagram account and I said, but I only did it once because I want to keep it separate because obviously I've got kids and I just said at the end of the day everybody is going to talk about you no matter what you do everyone's got something to say about you everyone's like just got I don't know like a not a bad word to say but everyone will gossip about you no matter what you do and I just thought just just go with it just Give them something to talk about, Give you know? Give them something to gossip about. Well, Love exactly. it. exactly. Love it. Exactly. So... I can relate to that. We all know I relate to that, people. Yeah. But I'll give you things to gossip about. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just thought, just go for it. And I needed the money. Well, we've been in a pandemic for, what, a year now? Mm. Um, and I think everybody has been hit financially. And I thought, what, what can I do? What can I do from the comfort of my own home? And for me, it's not... I don't know, I can sort of detach myself from this, like the sexualisation of it. Um, for a lot of people it's quite personal putting like, photos like that up or videos of certain content. Um, but for me, mentally, I can I can think of it as just work. Yeah. Like I don't I don't have any emotional attachment to anyone that subscribes or anything like that, do you know what I mean? Mm. So so yeah. But it must be a big thing, like saying it's got back it's got back to the weight loss and all that as well. It must be like a confident like how do you feel? Because right now you're looking you're glowing, do you know what I mean? You're there in lingerie, you're looking fantastic. Like what are you saying, like that massive weight loss now. How do you feel like doing this? Like, um, oh, obviously, confidence yeah, in? obviously it does give you a confidence boost. Um I mean, don't get me wrong, like it, it does make you feel good, but there are some downsides to it. It's like some days I have had my doubts and I just think, do you know what it's it's all like... What's your doubts? Tell me the doubts. Well, you know, when people have got like a, a bad word to say, like when I set up the OnlyFans, um, I think the first night I got a message from a a fake account. So obviously somebody set up that fake account um, and the message just said, desperate slut. And it just, I was just thinking, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to put myself out there like that? Cause some, started getting in your head then. Yeah, like some people do, um, they have their own opinions about it and it, it does look slutty if you like or um cheap i don't know but then know. I, then well, I I think... know but what about like nuts and zoo magazines well yeah exactly and my, you my, can... part, my partner's a glamour model you can make it your own yeah. you can make it as, as cheap and distasteful or you can make it classy and that's why i've got girls um to help me with the lighting to help mm. me with the photos and the makeup because i don't just want to be seen as like a cheap a cheap slut or whatever i just want it to be want it to be quite classy yeah. um but yeah so after that message i just thought do i really want to and um i've actually recently had an argument with somebody and they've brought it up and said what was the argument without going into too much detail um it was someone saying oh it's one o'clock in the afternoon um chloe isn't it about time you went on only fans you know earn your weekly wage and i thought you know what you post similar pictures all over your social media and are you getting paid for it mm. no I'm not doing anything different to these girls that are posting their, their sexy lingerie pictures on their Instagram accounts or whatever. So if you're going to do it, you might as well go the whole hog and get paid for it. So, so yeah, that's the doubts that I've had. But every, like everything else has been quite positive. Um, when I advertised it, um, I'd say 90% of the people that messaged me were girls. Yeah. And they were really, really supportive. They were like, go on, girl. Um, I'd do it if I could and things like that. So it was actually really nice and positive. It was really empowering as well to have that support around me. So no, that's good. So I, this is one of the reasons I wanted to sort of after this and that as well. So I wanted to see what a girl's reactions would be mm. to 
uh, OnlyFans. Like obviously, you got your friends here that support you know, which you always your close friends are always going to support you. But I mean, like you know, outside your circle, girls that you know now, what's the? I feedback mean, like yeah, I think some people haven't spoken to me about it, but I I know that they will be talking about it. Um, friends that I've seen in the past few weeks have said, "Oh, well, let's talk about you. What have you been doing?" Like as if they know already. They just want me to tell them because I didn't really tell anybody. I just sort of went for it. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, they can think what they like about it, but most people have been supportive. My mm. family don't know. That's going to be my next question. About yeah, family. so my family, um, like my mum, and I don't, know, I don't really have that much family around Eastbourne. Um, and somebody said to me, oh, what would you do if your mum found out? And I thought, you know what, I'm 30 years old. And I can do what I like at 30 years old, so if she's got anything to say, what, what's the worst that's going to happen? She's still going to speak to me. Um, she may be disappointed, but because I haven't made it too distasteful and I've tried to put some effort into it, she might she might be supportive, you never know. But um, no, I haven't told her just yet, just because I just wanted to see what it was like first. I wanted to um, just get into it and see how I felt about it. It, but it's not a permanent thing, of so course. Tell me how are you feeling about it now? Right now, how are you feeling about um, it? Do you know what? It's actually hard work. You do put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, it's just constantly uploading content. It's constantly trying to keep people interested, trying to get new subscribers. And you do spend a lot of time on your phone talking to people. Um, and it, there's a lot of people that try and get freebies as well. And you, just, you need to be really careful with it. Um, so... So yeah, I'm I'm feeling positive about it at the moment. Have you have you found anyone that's come a bit obsessed yet? <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of people that um, I don't know how to put it. They message every day. They constantly want to see content, and they just become obsessed with the idea of them doing certain things to you. Mm. Um, but for me, I can just I can detach myself from it and just ignore it. Um, but I think it it could be quite. I don't know, overpowering for somebody that's not like minded like I am. Um, so that would be like, because obviously me filming you now is like you've you not long, you've just literally come in, so you've just started. Mm. So for other girls that are watching now, thinking about this, like the other, you'd say one of the key bits of advice would be about detaching yourself. Yeah, just being able to detach yourself and just being able to recognise the people that genuinely are interested in paying to see pictures of you or whatever. Um, there's a lot of like accounts that just want freebies um, and you've just got to be safe with it like I've had a lot of requests to meet people and that's where I draw the like I'm not a prostitute I would not go to a hotel to have sex with a random person that I didn't know that's illegal that is prostitution and you just you put yourself in a lot of danger mm. obviously with everything going on at the moment with that girl in London as well I just think girls just need to be safe and when you're online behind the camera it's one thing, but when you go and meet somebody in person, that's completely different. Mm. Like, if you so if you were, say you were single and you were looking to meet somebody, if you learned that they did OnlyFans and sold pictures of themselves online, would it stop you from speaking to them, being around them? No, I, no, I don't think it would. I think... One thing I've learned, obviously, I, you know, I was away for so long, not having a relationship and this, that, the other. I think one of the most important things for me is about connection. Mm. Do you get what I mean? And you can uh, that, that's one of the reasons why I want to do this because I want to create awareness and that. Like we are still humans at the end of the day. Like yeah. we do what we do, but you can still have a connection with someone, be with someone, love someone. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? At the end of the day, you've got an amazing body. You want to show off, and you're gonna get paid for it. Yeah. Like, listen, I think I got into the wrong industry. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> So like, I, I, I've, got no, I've got no negative judgment on this, and that's that's one yeah. of the reasons I wanted to do this and that as well. Because obviously at the minute I'm doing a whole series about like the sort of trolling and that, and this is going to be part of the the series that I'm doing. Yeah. So no, I don't think it would be. I think I think a lot of doing if he was in a relationship, a lot of it could probably come from insecurity with the other person. Mm. Do you know what I mean? As a man, do you know what I mean? Knowing like you know you're, you're my woman mm. and other men get other men get to see you and all that yeah but again i think it's that coming from detached isn't it yeah i think you've just got you've got to find someone like for me I, i'd need to find somebody that can detach themselves as well not have that jealous streak um because i know a lot of girls have said to me oh i'd do it if i didn't have a boyfriend or mm. i'd do it if my boyfriend would let me um but i'm not seeing anyone i wasn't involved with anyone and i just thought while i'm this single <laughs> then why not? Because I've got nobody telling me you can't do it or yeah. 
um, or just having anything bad to say about it. So, so yeah, but I did see a TikTok the other day and it, um, it was a girl saying, OnlyFans is such a good idea until you try to meet somebody. They say that you're damaged goods or everyone's seen it, um, so it doesn't leave any privacy. That sort of thing. So yeah, but they're seeing it and then they're touching it. Well, exactly. Do you know what I mean? There's a, exactly. there's a difference between seeing, like, I could sit and see a body. I could have an imagination about mm. what we like to have sex with you. But then there's that yeah. sort of real thing. There's then there's that real connection. There's, there's yeah, two, exactly. There's two different. There's two, I know. There's two, I know. But yeah, some people just don't see it like that. They do. They. No. They just think you've you've given it all. They've seen everything. So you're never going to find somebody. But well, I mean, do you, think, do you think this? Do you think this is going to cause any problems getting into a relationship? I mean, I don't want a relationship. I'm I'm quite happy. I'm so busy. Do you know what? I've got two kids. Um, I've got a part-time job. I've got a house. I don't have time for a relationship. I'm studying. I just, I see my friends. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just doing me. I've spent the last five years in bad relationships and I'm happy to be out of it. And I just want to enjoy some time by myself. Mm. Enjoy the time with my kids while they're still young and just not have anybody else anybody else to answer to or anybody else to just be in the way do you know what I mean if you were still in that relationship do you think you'd be doing this no no the studying right. I'm doing I wasn't even allowed to do that no so you think so. the relationship would dictate to you about oh yeah 100% percent. yeah definitely um yeah there was a lot I wasn't allowed to do so I feel like now that I'm out of that relationship I'm just doing everything everything I wanted to do in the first place I get a vibe of like just strong, <clears throat> yeah, strong, so independent I mean, like, woman. Strong like, I'm, like, I am. I'm so I'm independent. Mean. That's what everyone says. Like a lot of my friends are married in relationships, and I'm the single one of the group. But I don't mind. Like I'm, I'm living my best life. No, so right. I've, like I said, I've been in bad relationships. I've, I've kept myself quite low key for the past few years, and I'm just, I'm just enjoying myself. So I think life's too short. Hundred percent. To not enjoy yourself, and I want, I just want to do it while I'm young. I mean, I know I'm 30. Listen, I'm 30. I'm 30 this year. Not exactly young, but... <laughs> Listen, we're but still just, young. We're still young. Listen. But, like, I couldn't do this when I was 60. Yeah? I couldn't do this if I was 60, could I? I mean, I probably could, but... <laughs> no, I'm sure there's a gap in the market for it. But, yeah. Sorry. Why not? Talking about gap in the market, <laughs> when I've been speaking with OnlyFans, girls, they say they get a lot of requests, a lot of fetishes. Yeah, you'd That's be surprised. One thing about, it's yeah, you would be surprised about. Um, so the entourage are not the narrated in that as well, would it? Yeah. Mean, yeah, you do. You get some weird requests of things that they want you to film, want you to take pictures of. Everyone's gonna be thinking now. Oh, what's the weirdest? What's the weirdest request? You wanna know, guys? I wanna know. Should we know? What oh, do you know what? I don't actually know. Help me. Hmm. Oh yeah, weeing, getting weed on. Getting weed on. Yeah. <laughs> That takes a piss, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my actually still got it. Still got it. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yes, some proper filthy things. Fucking and hell. people, um, they don't hesitate to send you pictures as well. Does it work like that? No, it, no, it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> but they just they feel that they should. So oh. say if you sent them um, uh, an uncut, explicit photo. They just they send back what they're doing to that. So it's like tip for tat, isn't it? it is. Why don't you get all <laughs> that in it? Yeah, well, I know. Some of the times, you know, you don't even want to open it, but that's, it comes with the job, doesn't it? The game, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So now you're going to show us some of the content that's going to go up. Yes, we're going to do a little photo shoot. So do you want to shut the curtains? So what's going through your head now as you're taking the shoots? I'm feeling good, I'm not going to lie. We've perfected it. We've got the good poses. So where did you, where, where, where you get all the poses now? Where's all the, like, the ideas from the poses um, coming? I look at other people's, like girls that have made it quite big. Um, I look at their photos, like the sort of things that they're wearing, the poses that they're, they're taking, um, and just get ideas from there really. So we just we try and get a few outfit changes. Um, sometimes we go downstairs, but most of the time it's in here. Just different outfits, different different yeah. positions. So, so yeah. You lay down one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm. Gently arms, arms out. Yeah. One arm or two arms? Yeah, one arm. One arm. It's great to have amazing support around you doing this, isn't it? It is. I don't think I would have done it without them. Yeah? I said from the beginning I want somebody to to help me um, just do it all. Because, I mean, there's, there's one thing just sitting in your room with a ring light, but there's another thing having somebody on the other side of the camera seeing what looks good and what doesn't look good. Um, so, yeah, I trust them. Do you want to lay it down? Yeah. Yeah? This way, what fucking can I get a light for? On head here. So how, how, much is a month, how much is a monthly subscription for this? Eight dollars ninety nine. Um, but I've recently done like fifty percent off promotions. So you've done a fifty percent off promotion. Can you control that when you do discounts and deals? Yeah, you, you can, can control, control everything. Like I could give somebody a special discount. I could get let someone have it for free. Um, you can control it pretty much, and you can always change how much the subscription is. I've just I've said it quite high. A lot of people have sort of five, six, seven pounds. Um, I said it quite high because to start with, you've got hardly any subscriptions, and then I think the more people that subscribe, then you could start lowering it. Mm. Right, turn over so your boobs are dangling, sort of. Like, turn, turn over. Yeah. Okay. Put your hands on your face like that. Yeah, that's Feet story. up. Feet down. Do it. Feet up. Go. Get shot like that. Stay nice and go with you, see where they are. Now put your feet down. And then put your arm, hands down so you can see. And then bring your booms a bit forward. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The finger. Like a, <laughs> yeah. like a, like an in the mouth yeah, sort of yeah, finger. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Maybe do that, but on the other side. On the other well. side. Yeah. Hair. <laughs> Maybe grab a tit as well or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Turn around and touch the wall. No bad. Yeah. Break your back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turn, so, to uh, Turn to the side. Turn to the side. I've got my scratches on my bum. Turn to the side. Can't see <laughs> it, don't worry. That's it. So being in controlling, obviously being able to control it. Obviously a lot of people are going to see this, Chloe. You know what I mean? You might, you know, it's a good chance to offer sort of deal with people coming through the YouTube. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know if I can use like... I don't know, you know like a discount code? You can't do discount code. I don't know, I haven't looked oh. into it, but I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i try it and I'll see. So I'll do it, put a link on yeah. it, can mm. it? Yeah. With a little subscribe, yeah. subscribe, yeah. subscribe in the description. Yeah, if you subscribe, use the code. Use the code YouTube. So talk me through it now then, so how we go about picking so, the photos. So obviously we've made multiple photos here. Um, so... But this is all the played down content. Yeah, this is all the played down content. These will probably go on Instagram. Um, on the stories because Instagram got the guidelines um, you can't put full nudity on there so these are sort of like a teaser so we'll go through these photos and we'll edit them like crop bits out if there's things in the background um, maybe put a filter on it you know like the normal the normal editing process um, and then yeah now, do you know which one you like looking at now which one would you say that is probably going to go up well I just see which ones look better in so I'd say I'd say these ones I, I quite like this angle some of them are like looking at the camera obviously not that one because my eyes are shut but things like that obviously not that I don't personally like that so I'll just go through and I think I'll just pick pick whatever ones and just go from there oh I like this one yeah that's a really good yeah, one, that's a good one that can go on the grid yeah. Can that go on the grid? Mm -hmm. What's the grid? The Instagram grid. With a description, probably saying link in bio, um, loads of hashtags. Register. Yeah, a little cheeky little caption. Yeah. So this is the OnlyFans Instagram account. Okay. 
Um, this is where I get most of my subscribers from. So obviously I just go through following people, they follow me. I make sure I regularly upload a grid post. So this is a grid. So is this an open page? Um, yeah, yeah. So that when you hashtag things, so I should have things hashtagged. So obviously like you can see, it's got a huge emoji covering it. And it's just a little teaser just to show people what sort of content they can expect to see on the OnlyFans. Mm. Um, so oh, you've got the tyres and everything going on there. Yeah. You're not biting on tyres, the Harley Quinn style. There you go. <laughs> like if, if anyone's into like you know biting down tyres and all that, listen, Chloe can provide. It's Chloe with a K. Chloe so with yeah, a K. I've used my own name, but we'll put the links up. But we'll I've, put the um, links up. I've changed the name. Um, so I'll upload one post on the grid every few days, and then I will upload two to three times on the story. So this is my story from 22 hours ago and this is my one from this morning so I'll usually do one morning lunchtime and afternoon okay. and it will literally either be me showing a photo just saying link in bio or it'll have my actual OnlyFans link there um, but Instagram won't normally let you use your OnlyFans link in your profile so I've had to make a link tree Okay, so, so let's, tap see, on that. let's see the OnlyFans. This is the link tree. So then I've got my Amazon wish list on here. And an Amazon wish list? My Amazon. <laughs> What's an Amazon wish list? An Amazon wish list. Because um, you get a lot of, let's say, rich men um, just wanting to buy you gifts um, in exchange for photos or maybe like a like a video chat, something like that. So how's that make you feel then? Yeah, I know that actually people out there know kind enough. Obviously, they took a look. They took a Well, they, they are, see, yeah, you know. they are getting something out of it, but... Nine times out of ten, they're just lonely and they just want somebody to talk to. Um, but it does make you feel good knowing that not everybody is just after your body. So, so yeah. Um, then they've got the OnlyFans link at the top. Right, should we go on to the OnlyFans? Let's then? go on to the OnlyFans. So this is what it looks like. This is going to be the home page. Um, so like you can see, there's pictures with emojis. Mm. Um, but if I, people pay, but if people subscribe, yeah, so I'll it, just there's say, no emojis. A tip for the uncut version straight to your inbox, so then they can tip under the post and they will be able to have the uncut version sent to their inbox. Um, on the messages, I'm not going to click on the messages, just so you don't see who's been messaging, um, but you can do pay-per-view messages. So you send out a group message to all of your fans with a photo um, and a caption. They can't see the photo just yet, but the caption will say, um, I don't know, say like a cream pie or something like that. Like it, they'll want to see something like that. Do you know what I mean? So it's describing, <laughs> you know, like a a facial pic. A facial. You know, like an ejaculation facial pic. Come on. Um, Is that so All right. they can they can pay well, you for know, that. Certainly, want you want you want you want a cream pie. <laughs> we're not talking bakery. We're talking you know. <laughs> Chloe with cream pies, eh? Um. So yeah, they can tip to see that photo. <laughs> but what you can do, what's quite clever with OnlyFans, yeah. if um, see there you go, like things oh, like that. Oh, it is a cream pie, like cream. <laughs> literally, yeah, it's cream, isn't it? You're not messing about. It's like a proper cream and it's. Kind of like on a pie. Actual whipped cream, yeah. So. <laughs> it's very creative. It is. That's what I mean. You've got to be creative with it. Because got, is that handcuffs? That's handcuffs and strawberry. I've been handcuffs a few times. I'm sure you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what they are. Not red fluffy ones, though. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> They're like stainless steel and black, right? No, no. <laughs> so, do you know what I mean? So, it's just photos like that that go on every single day. And they can, like, there's videos. So you do videos, so what is it? So people can make requests in that as well. So they've they can, got like, yeah, yeah. so they've got like um, an idea in their head. So they've got yeah. like a fit, it's like, I want a cream pot, I want to see you on cuffs and all. They can send you a message mm -hmm. and be like, I want a video of this, I want a picture of that. Yeah, and pretty then, much. And then you, you can set the bar with sort of how you make it. If You can say yes or no. So if you if you feel uncomfortable doing it, you can just say no, that's, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, have you had to say no yet? yeah. Yeah, there's a few people, like, people asking how much I would charge to stay in a hotel. Well, we said that. I mean, more like any content. Like Not so much that, but I mean, um, you get to say not yeah, any content. Yeah, like, there's ask. a lot of people asking to see me, sort of, like, being done up the arse and things like that. And that's where I draw the line. Yeah. Um, 
So, but you never know. A few years down the line. <laughs> so subscribe now. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's that is the content that goes on it. So for me, I like to cover it up, and they pay the extra to see the uncut, just to stop people from subscribing one off, getting all your photos, and just sharing it around all their group chats. Yeah. So. So with all the people watching, like you're saying, you can control special offers and all that lot. You know, yep. I think as it's you know only fair that you know you've let us come in and all the followers and that. Maybe about doing the people. If they want to see more content, I can do that for you. Yeah, so if anybody wants to subscribe, they can get 50% off for the next 14 days. So it'll be £4.50. When this goes out, there you go. See? Yeah. Any of you guys watching, Hatchet's got you. <laughs> Listen, I, just, I mean, we shook that out there. Old school friend, I mean? Yeah. Old school right there. Old school. Listen, I just want to say thank you for letting me come down today. It's all right. Getting an insight into the OnlyFans. Obviously, it's all new to me and it's you know, everywhere, and hopefully, it's other people, other girls that are getting into it, you've created a lot of awareness, mm -hmm. the pros, the cons, and obviously your journey itself, like I'm saying, we've known each other for like 15 years, I mean, a you, was long a, time. you was a bit of a bigger girl back then, do you know what I mean? Yeah, now, right. like, <laughs> no, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's like it's, a fine wine, get better with age. And there you go, there. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's aspiration, it's like, it's inspiring that, you know, you've put a lot of work in, a lot of effort, Thank and, you. and you know, what you're doing and that, and I, you know, and I wish you all the success on it. Thank you. You're going to give everyone that watches a special, you know, discount and that, yes, so I'm sure they're going to be made up. Yep, 50%, 14 days. There you go. And yeah, keep plugging away. Like, and Thank if you. anyone's got any, I think with the judgment and that, I think no one can never sort of take that from you. I think mm. what you're doing is amazing. I think we're doing safe. You've, you've definitely given me an opinion about it now because I wasn't sure. I don't know how it all works. Yeah. So you've created amazing. Yeah, insight. I think everyone just makes their assumptions, don't they? They just see it for face value and just they don't really think about what goes into it and what it actually is. So yeah, if I can just get that get that out so that people don't just make bad assumptions about it, then it's good. That's all good. All right. All right. Yeah.